everybody, my name is Brown, and today I'm going to tell you about the uh, science, comics, and solar system of poison space. Part 1 Introduction of our solar system 5 billion years ago. That doesn't make sense. I don't know where it is. Maybe 4.6 billion years ago, there's a present day on board. Okay? So, board, 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 board. Sarah, honey, are you up for a, a visitor? Your friend Joe is here. Sure, Dad. Hi, I'm Joe. Hey, Joe. You can come in, but I'm warning you. This is the most boring room ever. We miss you at school today. Got a cold, huh? Yeah, just a small way, but that made me stay home by myself. Uh-oh, you're not very good at resting up. Joe, I reread all my books. I animate or uh, origami crane. I organize my stuff by color and pattern. I even drew oh, a picture of your pets wearing top hats. Well, that's really a web I know. Pepper, Mr. This is a friendship emergency. I'm going to kill your boredom. Starting now. I've been uh, reading a very really cool book. Who wants to kill me with a book? It's a must be. Jo uh, Joe, you're real, uh, a really good friend, so please understand that. As I say this with love, empty space, I'm super bored right now. Space isn't empty. There are underground oceans, huge stores, giant uh, canyons. Huh? Ha uh, hey, how about I use this book to make up a story? Or I can reorganize my socks. I will tell you about the brave adventurers who travel across the solar system, our sun, and everything spinning around it. Their goal is to work fast and to lean fast that they can share with you to save you from the boredom. I haven't sorted them there by texture yet. Okay. So first, we need a spaceship. No human, uh, uh, no humans have traveled um, across the solar system. So across the solar system. So we have to design our own imaginary ship. Okay. So um, it's just a ship. What? It doesn't really make sense. So, uh, there, so it has a heat resistant covering, which was the outer shell, I think. The outer. We need to block a lot of heat rushing off from Earth and raise some, uh, our ship's temperature up to over uh, 358 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And the sun's surface is over 9,900 degrees Fahrenheit. 358. That's a lot, at least 50 or 60 degrees Celsius, at least. The gra uh, gravity machine. On Earth, a force called gravity pulls us pulls us toward the center of the planet, keeps our feet on the ground, and stops ourselves uh, from pulling away. What includes an imaginary gravity machine? A smart navigation computer. Your GPS won't work in outer space. It relies on information from satellites that orbit the Earth. Compasses won't work either because they uh, respond to the if they respond to the Earth's magnetic field. We need a clever computer to run this. A radiation shield. Mm -hmm. There are uh, there's dangerous radiation in outer space. Tiny, incredible, fast particles. Pour from the sun and from distant explosions, and they can damage our bodies. Let's kill our astronaut. Okay. A shuttle. To take, uh, there's a shuttle to take our astronauts to the surface of planets. Defense. Here you just look cool. Water resistance. 
recycling system. Today, astro, uh, astronauts already use this as a nucleus and recycles liquids, even urine or pee. Yeah. Garden. To feed our crew during the long journey, the plant makes the air safe and by making oxygen and consuming the CO2. Um, there are just uh, there are a lot more than I think, but that's only a few. We haven't talked about the engine yet. Okay, so I'm gonna tell one by one. So um, there's a as you can see, it's a super super hard engine that was just uh that at least looked like it was more than twelve oh no two hundred thousand uh two million horsepower uh lab experiment or that's what they think a uh, bookcase or uh, whatever it is yep that's all that's all I know This is looking good, but uh, there's one thing missing. A name? Okay, two things. I shall got this uh, magician ship. The onboard. Yep, right, and the onboard will need a propulsion system. A machine that pushes your ship along. Today, uh, today's ship sh uh, spaceships burn fuel. During the takeoff, the shuttle Atlantis used uh, 6, uh, 660. Uh, thousand pounds of solid fuel and sixty-two gal uh, thousand gallons of liquid fuel every single minute. Yay! Well, that's a lot. Even with not all fuel, crewing the space travel is slow. Uh, spacecraft Voyager two took uh, twelve years to visit our farthest planet Neptune. Outside orbit by then. Yes. Oh, so there is a. A fuel road. Okay. Exactly. Let's imagine the powerful engine that uses an endless make believe fuel. Infinite fuel. It was a pretty enthusiastic. Whenever my story reduces the bullet, the tank fills with fuel called it does a enthusi plasma. I like it. Now we need uh, to imagine a crew. I have an idea. Pass me a piece of paper. Okay. Meet our uh, meet our astronaut. Uh, astronauts, the eight feds, led by Captain Riley the dog. Okay, that. The research. Sarah's dog Riley. Riley will be the captain. Uh, will be Captain Riley, the loyal space hound. Sarah's hamster born in brass begin and becomes engineer for uh, Fortin. Brass the handy hamster. Joe's cat Pepper will become comma uh, Commander Pepper the Cosmic King. <laughs> Joe's snake, Mr. Slithers, shall be science officer Slithers, the smart base slippers. As our story because the spaceship on board is what is floating above Earth and carries a crew of loyal space fans. Part two take off. Okay. Your attention crew, we have left Earth and we're uh, about to embark uh, on the mission or oh, on an important mission. Our human uh, friend Sarah so it is homesick and super bored. To cheer her up, we will travel across the solar system and share amazing that fact. So, who saw that? Well, as I was saying, we share facts uh, that we discovered. Engineer Fortin Blast Oway for take up uh, my thing, so, but that doesn't look like he thinks so. Yeah, he doesn't, uh, she isn't, uh, Sarah isn't very excited. But we have enough in fuzzy plasma to get us inside. And there we may be too. Watch out that. Watch out that. Yes. Precise astronomical lo uh, locator on your right to navigate. P A L B 
here, logically speaking, I'm ready to, I'm always ready to navigate because I'm in the futuristic navigator for good. It's more like a robot. No, it's good. No, 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 no. Thank you, uh, P-A-L. Or, oh, no. oh, yes, precise astronomical locator. <laughs> Let's start, Let's start the mission. Aye, aye. Rumble. This is exciting. And... Um, uh, I am uh, commencing the probably 93 million mile journey to the sun. 93 million miles mile sure is a lot of empty space to travel to. Space is totally empty. There is dust left over the uh, from the early solar system. I saw small pebbles and ice uh, uh, and dust from ice blocks called comets. No. Well, sunlight and vents of atoms, the building blocks, the building blocks of all matter spewed out of the sun. How many of you know about me? I they gotta read Jill's book while she's at school. I can tell you more of the space facts, but uh, why are you changing the cable? I nibble stuff when I know this. I'm going to keep it now on the in the um, plasma. 93 million miles later. That's it. We're almost out of a dusty plasma. We're approaching the sun. Perfect timing. Why there's I have uh, I activated the solar shield so that you can uh, safely view the sun. There's no solar shields or solar glasses. This is not a big bright bubble of gas. Nope, it's very large. I'm a lightweight. I put one a uh, water to chest case on my cell while navigating. Doesn't make sense. I think it's his son actually. About uh enormous. About one point three million Earths can fit in it. Oh, it's so huge. Fail, tell uh, us where this giant will came from. Very well. About 4.6 uh, year, a billion years ago, there was no solar system, just a cloud of, of gas and dust. Some then, perhaps a cosmic, a cosmic explosion shook up the cloud. Part of the cloud got smashed into, uh, into a thicker blob of gas and dust. That thicker part had more uh, gravity, so it began to pull, pull in the other stuff landing. Like gases and just whatever, it's just like because of gravity to roll each other into a fan, so or that's a tiny stuff. Gravity is the force that pull uh, that pulls things toward each other. Each single outlet in the universe is pulling on everything else. So, um, attracting every tennis ball. Wait, does that mean that the scary hamster eating hawk uh, back on Earth might have been pulling on me or right that? Oh. Yep. But don't worry. Gravity gets uh, much weaker to you, go farther away from an object. Woo! An object with more stuff than them, what the scientists call mass, has more gravity. A giant hawk has, uh, will pull on you way more than it's possible. That's why, if you drop a tennis ball on the earth, it pulls toward the point that it's sending you. Wait, what? If you drop a tennis ball on earth, it will pull towards the planet instead of you. Well, luck. Hey, wow. So back to the com uh, cosmic clouds. The thicker patch of dust has more mass, so it has more gravity. It grew up more in gas and dust, and that and a thick clump getting uh, the I know the sun, but there was a little bit of dust and gas. There's also a uh, dust bits also stuck in there, like planets, moons, comets, and everything else. What is it? Uh, the sun is a billion of years old. So Why has it cooled right now? Because there's something amazing going inside it. Yeah, it is made of uh, layers, like a really hot onion. What's it inside it? The corona, which no, not the coronavirus. A huge, thin, very thin outer layer that was like the sun's atmosphere. The chromosphere, a thin reddish layer that's hard to see because of the bright layer on the, under it. Under it. The photosphere, light escapes from the sun through the photosphere. 
the convection zone, but when rotating matter like a boiling pot, the radiative zone, radiative zone, it carries energy out of the core, core, here, and the primal reaction takes place, yes. Oh yeah. Matter is made of tiny things, atoms, and make a different kinds of atoms, make up a uh, substance called elements. It's mainly uh, the sun. It's mainly made of hydrogen. So the sun undergoes fusion. Fusion. Yes. So that makes that a lot of uh, chemical stuff too. Hydrogen and then there's got so a uh, squeeze so a uh, squeeze because of pressure, and then they reform became helium. That and uh, it was called fusion. The fusion reaction. How much do you really talk about? Of course, approximately 27 million Fahrenheit. So the pulse was just over 10,000 Fahrenheit. I will just make my way into the little puddle. Who cares? I want to go. I possess the latest in imaginary shield technology. I can protect this while winning, in t uh, while winning 10 games of chess. So, 10 games of chess? Are you sure about that? Well, PA, uh, POW? POW? Is everything else, uh, everything else exciting uh, to, in our, uh, include in, in our report for Sarah? Um, uh, I'm not programmed to e evaluate something potential for examining or anything. Okay, so uh, uh, this is a sunspot, a generally really cool region on the sun's surface. Ooh, aha, uh -huh, perhaps this is exciting. What is that thing? It's a solar promise. A huge eruption of hydrogen and helium. It's pretty good though. Sarah will like it proof, but still more research to prepare a report. The sun, a report? It has a diameter of whatever, uh, just over uh, just over eight hundred and sixty thousand miles. One portion known as the planet. Contact. Two uh two bacteria parts of matter, mostly hydrogen. At the core, hydrogen turns into helium through fusion reaction. Features, sunspots, so prominences. This is from the Earth, space wrap. There's no cell surface, so we have to find the space wrap here. Yeah. Well, this is uh, uh well, was it so interesting? It was pretty okay. Uh oh, we have uh. We yeah, had not enough fuel to get to the nearest planet. Hmm, Sarah is uh, Maybe landing on the planet gives us an extra boost power to get to the nearest planet, Mercury. Don't worry, Ford. I'm sure we'll find some interesting uh, stuff there. Plus, it won't well be as hot. Oh, I think it is hot, actually. Go six million miles later, four years later, I think. We are right on Mercury. Okay, so now the fuel is regained. Okay, so, uh, again, you gotta be kidding me. So the robot, look at this. It's both saying everything the expert chest matches for one, the deep blue. Deep blue, is that a song? He stayed from the uh, from the uh, ancient Roman messenger gods. Okay, that doesn't make sense though much. If the sun has so much gravity, why don't uh, Mercury fall to it? Well, most of the stuff in the Earth's solar system fell into the sun, but a few stay stay because they're moving at the right speed. Hey, let me show you. Hi. The string is always pulling on the mouse. But when the mouse, uh, nev but the mouse never hits on my tail in a some uh, similar way, the planets are moving attractive, attracted to the sun, but they are moving around it uh, at the right speed so that they don't just don't crash into it. So okay, so uh, yeah. well, I guess cat is not the mouse. Oof. I guess that makes me feel a little better. I want to
200 uh, uh, chest games, by the way. Well, I don't think uh, you not, not need to talk about that 200 games of chess is a uh, world record. But let's have a sniff around here. So, uh, hmm, sniffing doesn't seem to work in space. Just a sniff. This thing at this way seems calmer than this one. It's not real cool. I'll be here at 800 and then, uh, the A's right high. What's that's uh, hard enough to melt red? Wait, lead? I thought it's Venus. Venus is the only country that I am able to, uh, that I'm about to, what, uh, melt red. Let's wait until like the end of the chili to, oh, 88, uh, minus 280 degrees. Um, or, are you hiding from the vast richness of space? Yes. Why those temperatures so extreme? Physical impression. Visual aids. First up. Oh, yeah. I know the reason because it's tidally locked. First off, a day on Earth it lasts a long time. Well, uh, well, Earth lasts about 24 hours. Lucky it takes two months. Doesn't make sense. The X will spend plus the speed at rest. Makes one day and makes uh, for the long and makes for the long day. Then in one place and you have a man to wait uh, six uh, Earth months from sunrise to sunset. So Mercury has a day length of more than a thousand hours. Venus has a bit of five thousand hours because it rotates clockwise. Counter uh, uh, clockwise, I think. Earth, 24, Mars, just over 1 hour, Jupiter, 10, Saturn, 11, Uranus, 17, Neptune, 16. So the first two planets, Mercury and Venus, has the longest, uh, has more than a thousand hours. Otherwise, has no more than 30. We did 26. Those long days give uh, Mercury plenty of time and uh, plenty of time to heat up. But on the shape uh, of the planet, things cool go fast. On Earth, the oceans prevent wild uh, temperature swing. That's because well, water takes a long time to heat up cool down. But look around the oceans. Also, also uh, many planets have an atmosphere. Um, uh, the act of a uh, uh, it, keeping heat in, but Mercury has nothing. That's why uh, the sunny parts of uh, Mercury are hot, but in the uh, second one, they're cold, ice cold. Yeah, the thin atmosphere is one reason why we see so, uh, uh, so many impact craters. Oh, or just craters. It's from space rock. Are you sure about that? They're just asteroids or meteorites. On Earth, most of them get burned up in the atmosphere, mostly in the stratosphere, you know. But Mercury's thin atmosphere can protect them from heat impact. There. Uh, there, uh, there are the craters are named after our Earthquakes from Earth. If, uh, they include the musician Theologian's monk, Arthur Madeline L.N.D., painter Claude Monet. Cosmo Man. Crew, make a report. Come on, Pepper. Come on, Pepper. Yep, Pepper just slipping in here and just wait for the all day. Okay, so Mercury a report. Origin from the ancient Romanian message of God. Uh, uh, uh only three thousand miles in diameter. A third, uh, one third of the Earth. Uh, like many other points, it has layers. During Mercury's formation, gravity pulled the heaviest stuff, mostly metal, to the core, which is not liquid, which is not liquid iron. The water will avoid uh, the surface. It was made uh, a solid size, 800 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, and a shade is 280 degrees Fahrenheit. That's even for the uh, frozen water in the, uh, deep in the clearest of the pool, so sunlight never reaches. They made some of pop and rubber smashing the planet. Yeah. Mercury is hard to visit because of the extreme temperature and strike of the sun's gravity at that distance. 
the Maui Inu Temple in the, by 1974-75 and the messenger orbited the, around 2008 and 2015. Wait, 2015? At least we're uh, um, three years old? You, uh, your, your steeple Colombo arrives in 2025? Really, I wish two years more. How do you think you do future tests? I think a, a, a science company name may, it still has to have grammar. Well, what do you think? It's easy to uh, uh, have Mercury is so hard to pull when, uh, when my dad tries to read the uh, rules and choose. Chewy. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that. So, yeah. Come on. I guess I have to do. Can, uh, that's it. We uh, have just uh, enough uh, fuel to reach the next planet. That's not bad, but we need to show Sarah something that. Yeah, even more strange. Oh. Hmm. But the next fire I had, had better not be scary. That depends on whether you find superior acid rainstorms. Wait, what? Yes. You know, Venus is very popular. Oh no, they're famous because of the thick atmosphere and it rotates clockwise and so if Earth will rotate like this, Venus rotates like this. And then yes, there uh the atmosphere is uh, was nearly all carbon dioxide and oh it's still very like acid. Yep. Made uh two I made that you getting tired of chess. Finally, you get tired of the chess. That's very shiny ball. Why is being so bright? Because of the clouds. They will find more light. Because uh, they're the star. Yeah. They are named after the uh, ancient Roman goddess of love and beauty. Hmm, that's it. Since, uh, since clouds hide the surface from view, every astronomer wonder if uh, Venus might be a lush human paradise. Hey, that doesn't sound so bad. But they're highly incorrect. Uh, incorrect. Venus uh, actually is so heavy that it would crush a human. Oh, uh, uh, its uh, surface temperature is hotter than Mercury. Oh, and so it actually rains from the skies. But Venus is farther away from us, but why does it cool? Good question. It, uh, because it is the bad greenhouse effect. So when sunlight hits uh, Venus' big clouds, sunlight squeezes through, hitting uh, Venus' surface and warming it up. Illusion. So, and you know what? Well, uh, you know that what uh, that one thing to about it, right? Yes. yes. All one things emit uh, infrared radiation or heat. Or heat, yes. Normally that uh, would uh, rise into space and wave here, but it hits Venus' atmosphere. <gasps> most of the atmosphere, uh, uh, most of the atmosphere, 96.5% is CO2, carbon dioxide. That would be devastating if that's the Car uh, CO2 absorbs the uh, radiation, vibrates back and heats up, so, uh, and sends back, uh, it back out in different directions. Some of them uh, head towards the surface. That warms things uh, that warms uh, things up in even more. Absorb super uh, one super hot uh, mega planet. I bet it almost rivals the sun. With the heat, crushing and swift poison sulfate acid dissolves iron in our metals. Venus, uh, Venus eats uh, space crack for breakfast. That's a secret I could do. Or, except if you're in 
Minecraft. Did you guys want to go? Can you see me on City of Vision? Russia's Mini Mario 13 weather survived for just 127 minutes before the heat damage did. But at least it, it managed to send us some color photos. Those pictures, along with the images from three other Mini Mario photos, are all we have. I know one would love Sarah's Alice Bell Town. Who would not take a picture of the circuit screen? Did? Ruby Mouse and the Edge of Crush Show and probably somewhere how we bored did. I want to push the limits of our and my uh, equipment's imaginary technology. But it is quite good and quite imaginary. Excellent, let's go through. Well, there's a uh, hipster show very cautious. We should head back to the show soon. This is stretching it. This is stretching even my tre uh, tremendous logical ca uh, capacity. We made it. Now we can write a great report. Nice job, team. That was horrifying. Amazing. Wait. Feed us a report. What's your name? Asian Wild Woman Goddess of Love and Beauty. Okay. Uh, it was. Uh, seven and a half, uh, set, I mean ten thousand miles across, a little smaller than Earth. A iron core, a rocky mantle, and a rocky crust, plus a, a super thick atmosphere. Yes, big red clouds. A rocky surface that only a few unpiloted uh, spacecraft now if you will break space pets land touch. At least, visits from a spacecraft. We made many a power flyby or the same way. In uh, 1966, video 3 was the first uh, space to crash land on another planet. Most of our info comes from our uh, orbiters such as um, Magellan that peeked through the crash with radar. I think uh, Venus is quite interesting. Almost as good as finding a long, long star. Such hard words. Hmm, not bad. Well, again, we have teeny bit more. Uh, it feels like I can go and pass by this time. Thank you, engineer. Engineer. Let's go. We may need to dodge some human build sound like a degree and then push the earth. Nice time to work. That's why I shared it. It's just bored. Yeah, why would it miss the boring work? Okay, Earth has great the few sandy beaches, tasty kill. I just my way. Let's visit Earth. Speak sandy beaches, kick up food. Wait, what uh, was that about satellites in the lead? Earth has, only, uh, has one natural satellite. That's the Earth, uh, that's the moon. And uh, trash clouds take it to the human space activity. Broken spacecraft, paint class, and, and stuff that astronauts drop that have to be on pieces. Which shook around Earth, like whatever it is. Of course, we need to get an actual place. <laughs> I'm not going to do it to get a chest. Come on. Well, this guy made me play chess in a, a once in every few seconds. Uh, just when you gave me chess in a once in a few minutes or something. Uh, in two minutes or one minute. 93 million miles from the sun and too many cages. <laughs> well, I guess that's what you call drama. Okay. I think that's at least all.